to the Italian Football Podcast. One player that did play very well in, in this game is, and this has worked out really nicely, is, uh, is Michael Coyote. So we're going to do a little profile on, on Michael Coyote. He's 19 years old. He is the right back for Fiorentina, um, who has now become basically the starting right back for Fiorentina um, and the regular starting right back following the, the injury to Dodo, who's got a serious injury and he's going to be out until 2024. Um, but already, Coyote was already playing, uh, rotating with, with Dodo um, until before Dodo's injury. Um, and he, he was really, really impressive against, uh, against Napoli uh, this evening. Uh, had a had a really good battle with with Kvalat Scalia, um, not just defensively, but he also you know did well going the other way as well. Um, and Coyote really uh, came to the fore during the the summer. He was one of Italy's stars in the the Euro Under 19 uh, Euro Championship victory. He um, he started the tournament as a right back, then in the knockouts moved it to as a right winger, and he was absolutely brilliant in the semi finals against Spain. He destroyed Spain. Um, as a right winger with his pace and his direct running. And then again in the final, he was fantastic. And he scored the winner for Italy against Portugal in the final uh, to, to complete what was, a, was, what was a really, really excellent tournament for him. Um, he's very fast, physically very, very strong, um, big upper body, um, kind of a bit like, I guess, comparable to Destiny Adagi in the sense that he's like a man in a boy's body already. Um, he's very good in the air. He's got a really good leap on him. Um, he's got an insane long throw, like the one of the longest long throws I've seen. So if you're ever playing Brexit ball, which I don't think Italiano will ever play, but if you ever need, if you ever need a long throw into the area, um, yeah, Sean Deitch maybe might 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 look at him. Um, but he's now um, now been promoted to the Italy under 21 squad, uh, and um, he. Arsenal are interested in signing him and sent scouts to watch him in the, the win against uh, Cagliari. Um, so he is a player. Apparently, they've been scouting him for, 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 for a good few months, apparently. So he is somebody that is getting eyes um, from, from bigger clubs, including in the Premier League. Um, and he's, yeah, he's doing really, really well. He, he grew up in the Juventus youth system for seven years before leaving for Gozzano. And then he went to the Fiorentini Primavera team a couple of years ago. Uh, and now he has now um, uh, developed and been promoted into the into the senior teams. And he's actually paid, listen to this, 30,000 euros a season right now. Contract until 2025. Fiorentina, though, are working on a new deal. So this is a player that I'm really, um, yeah, I'm really excited to see his development. Um, because he was fantastic in the summer and he, I think he's done really well at Fiorentina so far. Mila. He really has. Um, and, you know, he's only 19 years old and it's really exciting to see. Um, you know, this is, you know, if we're talking, you know, with all due respect to Godzano, it's not really, um, <laughs> it's not it's not the, you know, first team experience. But no, I'm, I'm really, I'm really impressed. And, and one thing we have to give, I want to give credit to, Um, to Italiano is is that he's good at working with young players. That we know from his uh, from his era uh, from from Spezia, where he did a fantastic job. Um, is uh, he, he he he? We've seen him work wonders. I still think that what he did with Spezia that those two seasons, you know, bringing them up and then also keeping them up with a team that had no business staying up is, is truly that that's his greatest feat to date, I think. Um, and it's, um, it's interesting because he's, you know, he's worked under Alberto Aquilani at the Fiorentina Primavera squad, uh, who, you know, are, you know, it's, it's, he's, he's actually quite highly rated as a, as, as a, as a youth coach or youth, uh, director or whatever you want to call it. Um, no, it's, it's, it's really, he's, he's looking interesting and, and it's, um, it, it's, it's fun to see these new young Italian players, um, coming up, um, uh, teenagers. We don't have that many teenagers in the Serie A who play regularly now, do we? So it's nice when they do, when we get to have. No, and this is why I cried about it so much in the summer give these guys a chance because mm. you know you give them a chance and this is this is what what can happen 
you know, Coyote you know, is what, you know, Fiorentina. Into- sorry, yeah, sorry. Just, just to give just to give a context, you know, Fiorentina have they're they're one of the best sides. They're one of the best youth setups in all of Italy. Um, and he's won one Primavera Coppa Italia and two Super Coppa Primaveras. So we are, we are talking about, and he was also, if I'm not mistaken, part of the under nineteen squad that won the Euros. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, who's that? Sorry, Kay Kay yeah, the under nineteen. Yeah. yeah, the under nineteen. Yeah, yeah. So so he so he has he he you know it's 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 an interesting generation that Italy are producing. Well, yeah, and this is why I say you play these guys. I mean, he was a part of the the, the under nineteens, and and so was uh, Vignato. And Vignato is now starting yeah. to get some get some. He started to he started today and played really really well against Salernitana. Um, you know, the, give play these players, give them a chance. Don't let them just rot away. Uh, and 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 they they're two of the most you know exciting youngsters in in Serie A. So so absolutely more more of the same as that. 